हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग शिक्षा तो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू रेंडर ए पीडीएफ फाइल यूजिंग पी डी एफ डॉट जी एस सो इफ आई जस्ट रीलोड दिस पेज एंड क्लिक दिस बटन सो यू विल सी दैट ए पी डी एफ फाइल विल बी रेंडर्ड आउट ऑन द ब्राउजर हेयर सो फॉर दिस आई एम यूजिंग द पी डी एफ डॉट जी एस लाइब्रेरी यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द लाइब्रेरी दिस इज द गिट दिस इज द गिट एफ रिपोजिट्री लेट मी क्लिक इट ऑफिशियल गिट एफ रिपोजिट्री यू कैन आईदर इंक्लूडेड बाई सी डी एंड डाउनलोड द library this is the official website you can download from here just download the stable version and after that you can just include it into your project so let me just create a from scratch create a index.html file and write some code here let me write doc type html and inside this i will write html tag head give a title that is pdf.js rendering pdf files and in the body we will be having a div tag which will hold the pdf for us so let me just give a id to it of holder and a button on click attribute i will be defining this function custom function pdf.render and let me give a label to the button that is render pdf that's it so now after this we will we will have to include the cdn of this library that is pdf.js so just copy paste this line into your browser and script this is a custom script that we will write here so first function will be the pdf render function the custom function that we will write so first is this function expects the url sorry just let me just define the function first of all inside this we will call another function which is render pdf so it will expect two arguments first is the address of the pdf file so my pdf file is located in my project directory you can see that pdf dot p this is the name of the file so i can just write pdf dot pdf second argument where to where to just put the pdf file so i have declared it this holder tag here i can just target this by document dot get element by id and pass the id that's it so this is done so now we need to just define this render pdf function so inside this it is it expect two argument url first of all the url of the pdf and second is the container on which you have to render out so i will just call this container as canvas container so after that we will define this function so first of all we will be defining some options that is where options so inside curly brackets we will write here scale one scale one is just a property how much scale you want so after this we will define another function inside this function to to render out a page a specific page that's it so this function name is a render page so basically this is just expects the page number so we will pass the page number when we call this function so after you got the page number in the pdf you just have to print it so for that we will be declaring the viewport variable so we will get the viewport by page dot get viewport this is a function in this library and we will use the options dot scale property that we have defined early on now we will be defining our canvas by this variable and we will be creating the dynamic variable by document dot create element canvas and now we will define another context variable ctx so we will require canvas dot get context this is the method you can see that inside this we will pass here 2d so basically we want to have the 2d context so when working with canvas these are the methods that are there basic methods so now we will be declaring a object here which is render context so basically this is equal to an object here curly brackets true pro properties are there that first property is canvas context so this will be the context variable that we have defined comma the viewport we just have to define 
the two properties this is a viewport variable that we have defined early on that's it after making this we need to just attach the canvas dot height height and width so we will pass the viewport height so viewport dot height and similarly canvas dot width is equal to viewport dot width and now we will be appending to the canvas container that we have passed in this function canvas container you can see that in this function so this is a parent function so we can access this property canvas container dot append child this is a method to append it as a child element so we will pass the canvas that we have made so now now lastly we will be rendering the page so for this we will be calling this function page dot render and we will pass the render context that's it sorry render dot context that's it so in order to just uh, populate all the pages which are there in the pdf we need to create another function inside this parent function which will render multiple pages so we will write here function render pages this is a function so this is a pages this expects the pdf doc as a variable after this we will be using a for loop where number is equal to one number less than is equal to pdf doc dot len so how many pages are there so this is dot num pages this is a property dot num pages num plus plus and inside this loop we will write this line pdf doc dot get page we will get the page and we will pass the number and then we will execute dot then inside this we will call the render page function which we have uh, defined it early on you can see that render page function this expects the page number so basically you can see that we are getting the page number and then we are calling this function the render page that's it put a semicolon and after that for loop you just have to write this line that is pdf after you get out of this for loop you need to just write this line pdf js library dot disable worker so this is just a property in this library you need to set this option to false or to true sorry true and the second property we need to set is to get pdf js library dot get document this is a function get document we will pass the actual url which is coming in the variable you can see that this is a url and after that we will be executing the dot then function this returns this and in this we will pass the render pages functions you can see that first of all we will call this function and inside this we are calling render page which will actually render out the pdf for us so that's it guys so now if i reload the page of my application we will see a render pdf if i click this button let me just see inspect element what is happening here why it is not well, let me just put this lines just delete it and let me put these lines after this function you can see that now if i reload it let me see what is the problem here pdf render we are calling this function after that we are get targeting this id holder that we have defined early on mm, pdf render 
after calling this we are calling this render pages function so let me just put the original file which was early on so just you can this is the earlier on file you, you can see that guys this is the original code you can just copy paste this code here and you can then run the application if you run this application then you can just get the file pdf file so all the source code i will be writing in the description you can just copy paste it from here so i will be writing the whole source code in the video description if you have any kind of doubt you can just ask it in the comment section